All right, we're gonna try one or two more Spotify code songs with the Cricut. I had another idea of trying to use shrink film in bright white because you can draw on it. I don't know if shrinking it is going to distort the code too much for it to work, but we're gonna give it a try and we're going to use Cricut markers to draw and then I'll fill it in very carefully by hand. So we can do this a little bit differently with this guy. So let's go over to Design Space. Very first thing we need to do is go to Spotify and decide what song we want to use. And I'm going to choose Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur. And from here, I don't need to play the song. I'm gonna grab the code, clicking those three dots from the, from the desktop app, get, copy the Spotify URI. I'm just gonna copy it right here, okay? Shrink this down, go over to my spotifycodes.com. I'm just gonna paste it in, grab the Spotify code. There it is. Say you won't get, let go. And then here's the download. I'm gonna change this. Nope, I'm gonna leave it just as it is. I'm gonna download it. And I just wanna make sure that the .jpg extension gets put back in because otherwise it will not open in Design Space. So this is Say You Won't Let Go. I'm gonna save it. There it is. Now I need to go back into my Cricut Design Space. We'll open this guy up pretty good. And we're gonna do a new project. Okay. Because I want this just to be the code for a charm, I'm not gonna do the play bar or anything else. I'm gonna upload just the code. So we'll go say you won't let go, open. It's a pretty simple, but we'll do moderate just because. Now I'm gonna do four clicks to remove the white background. Click on the white there, white here, white here, and white here. So there's my Spotify code. Click continue. I'm gonna do it as a save as cut image, not a print and cut. Save it. Now, because I'm doing this on shrink film, again, we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna make it pretty big. All right, so these shrink sheets are eight and a half by 11. So we wanna keep the proportions locked because we don't wanna distort anything, but we do want the width to be 10.77, as wide as we can get it. The proportions should be good, and we're gonna change this to draw, and we're gonna draw it with our fine point, and then I'll just fill it in on our shrink film. We're hoping this will work. All right, so now I'm gonna click make it. All right, I got ahead of myself, so we're gonna cancel this cut. We're gonna add a shape. I'm just gonna grab a circle. This is important. All right, so we're gonna do this as a cut shape. I'm gonna make it like a really long oval that fits the entire image in. But I'm gonna need to make sure I push it to the back. So it doesn't matter what color the oval is. All that matters is that it fits the code inside of there. So we might have to shrink the code a tiny, tiny bit so that the oval isn't bigger than our shrink paper, or shrink film. We can play with the sizing of that a tiny bit. Okay, oh, it's still bigger. There, it's under 10 inches. Now, the one more thing I wanna do is grab another circle because I'm gonna use that as like the place that I'm gonna put my, um, this'll be where I attach the charm. So to do that, that looks pretty good. I just need to, oop, nope, undo that, undo. I need to select those two layers. We'll move this all the way up here. So I just need to select, oh my goodness. I need to select both circles and I need to slice it so that I can cut out. Now it has a little hole in it, all right? Just 
line this back up. I got ahead of myself. I get too excited sometimes. Okay, so now this will cut out all the little shapes and pieces to make the entire charm. Again, this can go on a bracelet, on a necklace, on a keychain, so many different things. Okay, so I'm gonna attach these pieces together so that the drawing will draw in the center of the cut I wanna cut out, attach. Now I can click make it. Again, way got ahead of myself. You can see how it looks on there now. And we'll click continue. Now we're going to grab a different material. And I think I already have shrink in here. Shrink film right there. Boom. Done. Okay. So it tells you what tools you need. First, you need to load in the pen and the fine blade. They're both already there. The speed is automatically set. So we're just going to click the Cricut head. So now that it's done cutting out, we'll unload it. I'll remove the excess. I'm just gonna leave it on the mat for the moment because I need to fill in these bars so that it that the um, code will be able to be read. So to fill it in, I since they're pretty thick, I am gonna grab a black Sharpie, but you just wanna be really, really, really careful that you don't distort the lines or it will not read the code. Now, I don't know if shrinking it is going to distort the lines enough that it won't read it anyway, but we're gonna give it a try. It was one of the biggest questions that I got when I did the very first video is, it won't read my code, why? And the only reason it would not read the code would be because you distorted it, stretched it if you used vinyl, um, didn't get the lines right if you filled it in with a marker you shrunk it too much or distorted it um, in the sizing in design space those are a couple reasons why it would not read it All right, I'm super nervous whether or not this will read, but we're gonna give it a try. I don't know why I keep saying that, <laughs> but I am. So normally what I would do with shrink film is use my heat tool, but because I am worried about distortion, we're gonna go heat this up in the oven. So let's go get the oven preheated and set up so it has the least opportunity for stretching or morphing. Okay, please don't judge how dirty my oven is. It's kind of disturbing, but I have it in here ready to start shrinking. It should take about a minute to two. You can already see the edges starting to curl. It's on a cookie sheet on foil and hopefully it'll just shrink up. I'm gonna close it so it doesn't let too much heat out. My oven screen holes are really hard to film through, but it's starting to shrink. I'm super nervous. <laughs> it's always so bad, like when it's really big like that, Sometimes it just completely curls up on itself like it is, and then it's really hard to flatten back out. But I'm hoping we can do it. Really hoping. Up we go. And we already searched it once, so let's search it again. Oh my goodness, it worked! Ah! I'm so excited! Okay, we're totally making one more, and I'm doing it a little differently. But I'm going to put this on a little clip that it could go on a keychain or a bracelet or a necklace. Oh, this is too big for a bracelet. Let's make one for a bracelet. Oh my word. It worked. It totally scanned it. That's amazing. Okay. Really cool.